Track match. I have been drinking beer in a basement. How are you doing? I just got back from Disney World. Uh, the band was lifted. They let me in. Um, but I, uh, I went with my twin brother. He's a Southern Baptist pastor. Hi. And he has four children, so he went so that I could be with the children. And uh, my six-year-old nephew came up to me, and he goes, Uncle Drew, I have a question. And I said, yes. And he said, are you married yet? And so I was like, no, not yet. I haven't found the right woman. Bye. <laughs> and, um, which is true. I haven't. Uh, but I was with my partner, Curtis. And uh, so later on, he's like, no, 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 no. Uncle Drew, come here. And I was like, okay. And he's like, you and Curtis live together, right? I said, yeah. And he's like, you live in an apartment, right? And I was like, I feel attacked. And I was like, yes, I do. <laughs> Yes, I do. And he's like, that's called roommate. So I was like, sort of. And he's like, why don't you just get married? And I was like, hold on. Um, but I didn't know how much my Southern Baptist preacher brother had said, so I just kind of avoided it. But I thought, and my, my nephew goes, well, just do it. Just get married already. And I was like, oh my God, my Southern Baptist preacher brother had the talk. This is so exciting. So I went home and I said, Grant, can you believe this happened? I told him the story and he's like, that is great, Drew, but I want you to know, he also wants to marry his brother. So... <laughs> He lives in Florida now, so you get it. Um, woo, woo, my people! Can't argue that! All right, um, so I would like to play a quick game with you all. Um, yes. I have this new merch that literally no one's buying. Um, <laughs> it's a tote bag that says, I will never be as famous as Dixie. And let me tell you, the bar is set low and you will not. <laughs> Do you get tired of paying seven cents at Walgreens? Boy, do I have you covered. All right, um, so I wanna play truth or dare for these uh, just very popular bags. Uh, so I work at Sidetrack, I'm the free delay of Sidetrack, and... And this truth or dare game always ruins families, so there's always a Megan, a Megan, a Sarah, someone from Schaumburg ready to play. Uh, you look misunderstood. Come on up. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Willow. Okay. <laughs> and Willow, how long have you worked at Hot Topic in Oprah? Three months. Thank you for playing along, Willow. You have a good personality. All right, Willow. Um, do you have any exes uh, currently? Have you dated before and broken hearts? Yes. All right, calm down. <laughs> All right, so, truth or dare? Dare, great. Willow, can you take out your phone, which I assume is in your hand, great. Thank you, millennial. Um, will you pull up your last, your most recent ex, uh, their phone number, please? Oh, God. I was in Florida for four days. <laughs> Tom, Willow, <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> and what finish line does Tom work at? <laughs> All right, do you have a good relationship with Tom? Willow, breaking hearts and all the Toms around Oak Brook. All right. Oh my God. So we're going to call Tom. Oh! <laughs> Let's do it! Now, Tom can't know she's at a drag show. It makes him really hard. It's not a local call. It's not a local call. Where does he live? Do you have a cricket phone? What do you mean, Tom? Willow. Oh, Hang on a second. Her phone barely makes noise. She bought it at a jewel. <laughs> Did he die in a fire recently? Or? Oh, I got his voicemail. Don't worry, I got this. I got this. What's your actual name? Jen. That's disappointing. <laughs> 
He sounds so nice. All right, here we go. Hey, Tom. This is Jen's doctor. Dr. Love. Uh, pay no attention to my busy waiting room. <laughs> Jen asked me to call you to let her know she never loved you, but she did get pregnant. But she lost the baby. <laughs> Kidding. She did this for a tote bag. Bye. Yeah. Oh my God. Jim. Congratulations. Thank you so much for being so original in the early 90s. All right. I need one more person to come up here and win a bag. Yes, you. Start in the beer shirt. Oh, sure. All right, what's your name? Josh, Matt, Mark? Kurt. Kurt works. <laughs> Kurt, uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a doctor. <laughs> Don't you love it when you go see your doctor and they say, oh, I'm a, a doctor. <laughs> so, neuroscience, I assume. Oh yeah, definitely. What do you actually do? Uh, I'm a resident. I just started being a doctor. Oh, shit. What hospital are you at? Uh, advocate. Don't go to Advocate. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. All right. So, uh, truth or dare? Dare, great. Uh, give me your phone. Do you have a Twitter? Do you have an active social media life as a resident? I sure do. Great, open your Twitter. Type what I say. I'm wearing nails. Your fingers save lives. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. Hey, guys. I think he's just misunderstood. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Walls keep people safe. No. Do, it. Do it, I'm gonna tag your hospital. No. JK, WWJD, <laughs> hashtag 45, go see Willow at Hot Topic. <laughs> <laughs> Hit send, tweet it, whatever, I don't know how this works. Do you have friends here? Who are your friends? Don't let him delete that. Yeah, thank you. All right, congratulations. You just lost your job for a tote bag. Yeah, thank you so much. All right. Does anyone else have low self-esteem? Thank you. All right, bye.